welcome back for uh, second lecture on uh, visible light communication so in this lecture we are discussing about several modulation techniques which are used in uh, visible light communication so in this uh, have uh, several modulation techniques we have so in previous lecture we discussed about uh, some comparisons about wired networks as well as current wireless uh, networks future wireless networks and some applications also we discussed now we will discuss about modulation techniques by 2020 50 billion devices connected to the internet so we can assume how much bandwidth will be consumed by several devices so to overcome these bandwidth problems we have an, uh, we are uh, searching for another alternative technique called the light fidelity which is used with the help of visible light communication so always we are uh, trying to update the technology it will save the lot of extra effort the in our day to day life almost we are uh, trying to transfer the data from one place to another place so depending on the bandwidth available the our data is transmitted uh, from one place to another place that much uh, equal to bandwidth available so the wireless networks which are using now are connecting us to the internet are very slow when more number of devices are connected as the bandwidth was shared among the devices which are connected. So the limited bandwidth available makes it more difficult for high data transfer rates and connect to a secure network. So to overcome such types of problems we have uh, the uh, new technology called light fidelity. And by using this, it is possible to establish a cheap and fast wireless communication system. It can also set that optical version of Wi-Fi system. So depending on the intensity of the light, the, we can transmit that much, of, um, that much amount of data from one place to another place. But whatever the signals we have uh, to transmit, that signals are complex valued and bipolar in nature which are produced by OFDM orthogonal frequency division multiplexing but in this case it is possible to transfer the only positive values negative values we don't have in uh, uh, the visible light communication that's why we need to convert the negative values into uh, uh, positive values so the standard radio frequency OFDM technique has to be modified in order to become suitable for intensity modulation and direct detection system by using line of sight and non line of sight communication. So with that to, con to transmit the data with by using intensity modulation and direct detection the value should be uh, positive values, non negative values we need to transfer. So that's why due to this bipolar in nature, we need to convert these bipolar values into uh, unipolar value that is non-negative values. So the visible light uh, communication is having much more uh, uh, frequency band that is 300 terahertz when we uh, comparing with radio frequency communication of uh, 300 gigahertz that is thousand times more space we have in this sort of communication more data coming with wi-fi could be in the form of electromagnetic uh, waves which will affect our health so in future generations the wireless communication systems need high level of data transmission refers to meet the high demand of the quality of service so the major challenge for uh, engineers as well as scientists is effective communication for the large distance and also analog to digital transformation uh, uh, process. And information capacity, compatibility with digital data services, security, availability of the faster system and better quality communication has been achieved by the transmission from analog to digital signals. So in the last few decades it is observed that 
the major transmission from analog to digital communication has occurred in all fields of communication so so this is the basic communication system we have the implementation of modulation techniques like the amplitude sh uh, shift keying as well as phase shift keying and frequency shift keying comes with different situations depending on the situation we need to select that corresponding modulation technique it is very critical to select a digital modulation technique when we have a limited resources in an environment like satellite uplink as well as downlink so in the basic communication system the transmitter consists of analog source analog to digital converter and modulator after modulating the data the data is transmitted through communication channel at the receiver side it will remodulate it again digital to analog uh, conversion process has done then the original data has to be reached to the destination and so when we consider the life i in the cost of context of 5g technology to solve the spectrum crisis in wireless communication transmission speeds up to 10 gbps have been considered and life i does not required any line of sight communication so it uses intensity modulation and direct detection and due to this the signal must be real valued and positive signals it has to transfer so these limitations result in spectrum efficiency or power efficiency losses so the investigations on digital modulation techniques for lifi that help to overcome these limitations so the modulation uh, we need to perform is electrical car carrier modulation so whatever the uh, uh, modulation schemes uh, which is based on pulsed just like on off key and pulse position modulation are widely accepted modulation uh, techniques in infrared wireless communication so in the presence of line of sight communication it can achieve high speed transmission beyond 100 megabits per second the channel uh, the major challenge for uh, this is channel delay which can achieve the uh, data rates in multi path environment so the delay produces inter symbol interference that potentially renders on off key at bit rate above 100 megabits per second is uh, uh, highly impossible so to overcome this uh, challenge additional trans uh, receiver uh, capacity is required so that efficient operation uh, in general the ofd offers high bandwidth efficiency and allows simple equalization at the receiver the possibility to apply higher order digital modulation schemes to provide uh, high data rates and uh, uh, possibility to, uh, uh, and uh, possibility uh, what we can call it as uh, to easily combine ofd with multiple access scheme such as time division multiplexing as well as time division multiple access and frequency division multiple access which, which makes effective for indoor optical wireless communications and for broadband applications the different broadcasting channels can easily realize to assigning the ofdm symbols and sub carriers to each channel based on the required data rate and quality of service in case of uh, optical carrier modulation uh, radio frequency receivers are the receivers which employ heterodyne or homodyne down converters comprised of local oscillator and mixer the efficient operation of this mixer uh, relies upon the frequency stability of the carrier and local oscillator at the same time the optical co uh, coherent receivers and detect the optical carrier phase which requires local oscillator optical mixer and optical filter so whatever the leds we are using which will emit incoherent light therefore it is very difficult to collect appreciable signal power in single electromagnetic mode 
so for this optical wireless links the most uh, uh, reliable modulation technique is called intensity modulation in which the desired waveform is modulated into uh, instant change power of the optical carrier so the down conversion technique up conversion is intensive modulation and down conversion technique is direct detection which will use the photo detector uh, to receive the data so direct detection is a very simple to implement than coherent detection it detects only the intensity of optical wave that is no frequency or phase information so in general indoor op optical uh, applications use intensity modulation with direct detection for transmission to achieve simple and low cost optical modulations as well as demodulations so in modulations we need to uh, uh, discuss one important uh, thing called orthogonal frequency division multiplexing so this is a framework how it will work we will we will uh, discuss so in general it uh, the the ofdm system uses forward error correction and uh, which is a coding algorithm for data protection namely conventional encoder so forward error correction coding algorithm is used to encode the data at the same time the bus error protection is realized through time and frequency interleaving algorithms here these two algorithms you are using uh, to overcome the problem of bus error protection so one of the several modulators called phase shift key or multi level qam and modulates the encoded bit stream into symbols so any one of these uh, two modulation schemes we can use in ofdm framework and whatever the generated serial stream of symbols at the modulator uh, is mapped into parallel streams each is transmitted on a separate sub carriers so till now the model was identical uh, same similar or identical that of uh, classical ofdm system and the first difference ap ap appears in iift operation so inverse fast fourier transform operation and it is related to optical carrier intensity modulation technique so the ofdm baseband signal is used to modulate the led intensity hence the complex values must be uh, avoided so here <coughs> the complex values must be avoided <coughs> so the real value uh, ofdm baseband signal can be generated by considering the input from iift operation so half of the available sub carriers are used to carry the complex values and uh, and remaining half are the Uh, we can call it as positive values <coughs> due to large optical bandwidth available here the this loss of spectrum efficiency can be tolerated due to high availability of the bandwidth so the use of iift in ofdm system eliminates any complexity involved uh, in using large number of oscillators so the iift operation modulates and multiplexes the sub carriers and it is mathematically uh, we can uh, describe and so after generating the ofdm uh, symbol the cyclic prefix is added as a guard interval to avoid uh, any multi path induced interference for uh, non line of sight links and convert the linear uh, linear uh, sequence of the channel with ofdm signal to uh, circular convocation so that simple frequency domain equalizer can be used so the generated ofdm signal envelope is bipolar and optical intensity cannot be negative so led should be biased before applying ofdm modulated signal the led linearity is particularly important when ofdm signal envelope variations uh, 
are uh, utilized to intensity modulate an LED with its non-linear characteristics. So therefore, the bias current must be carefully set to consider the maximum allowable forward current of the LED to reduce ma uh, ma uh, to reduce uh, uh, any clipping with the control signal. So that are reduced. So at the same time, after uh, converting analog or digital to analog, that analog signal is transmitted through optical channel and at the receiver side, again, the analog channel was received and that will be converted to digital. And whatever the cyclic prefix added at the center side, that will be removed and here FFT operation will be done and the data is demodulated and whatever the parallel serial stream is uh, mapped into parallel that again demapping and deinterleaving algorithms we are using and decoder so by this process in between sender and receiver we have uh, the process called the inter interleaving algorithms modulation techniques we are using and serial streams are mapped into parallel streams and any complex values we have that will be eliminated and the cyclic prefix is added and after that digital to analog conversion and reverse process at the receiver. So based on the detection characteristics, the modulation schemes can be categorized. So bit error rate, signal to noise ratio, available bandwidth, power efficiency, better quality of service, cost of effectiveness are the basic criteria for best modulation schemes. So the various modulation schemes which are used in telecommunication system. The same modulation schemes we need to have like amplitude shift keying, frequency shift keying and phase shift keying are the basic types of digital modulation schemes. So the basic technique of digital modulation is amplitude, phase shift keying and uh, frequency shift keying with pulse shaping at baseband form but other methods are also possible by incorporating two or more basic digital modulation techniques either with or without introducing pulse shaping. So depending upon the type of signal and application, hybridized modulation can be designed. So let us discuss about one by one. Quadrature amplitude modulation. So this modulation scheme uh, is applied where its amplitude uh, is allowed to vary with phase and it can be viewed as combination of ASK and PSK. So most of the digital data communication applications are using this technique called quadrature amplitude modulation. So in this we have several uh, uh, phases are there. So uh, among them 16 gram up to 256 gram we have. So in 16 gram four different magnitude levels are used and four into four that is 16 states are available in the com uh, combined stream. So in this scheme each symbol represents four bits like that. So how many uh, grams we have that will be divided into four equal parts and that each symbol will represent four bit of information. So pulse position modulation, pulse position modulation. So in this <coughs> it is a form of uh, signal modulation in which message bits are encoded by transmitting a signal pulse in one of the possible required time shifts. So in this case, this is uh, repeated for every fixed number of seconds such that the transmitted bit rate is uh, the uh, suf sufficient bits per second. When there is a little or no multipath interference, it is primarily useful for optical communication system. So in the subcarrier inverse PPM method whose structure is divided into two parts 
sub carrier part as well as the dc part like this it will divide into two parts so for lightening and indicating the dc part is used when there is no need of lightening and indicating uh, sc ppm is used for vlc to save energy so this is the modulated uh, signal we have a clock we have a data and pulse position modulation technique so this is a bits of stream it can uh, transmit in ppm pulse width modulation so in this depending on width of the pulse our data is modulated so it can be used to encode the information when it is transmitted its main is used to allow the control of the power supply to electrical devices especially uh, these uh, interval loads such as motors so the data is transmitted by encoding uh, uh, within the duration of the pulses that is within a pulse it can be conveyed more than one bit of data for example if duty cycle is 10 that means 10 uh, percent of pulse and remaining 90 percent is ideal again 10 90 10 90 10 90 like that it will do and duty cycle is 30 means so 30 first 30 percent is transmitting the data and remaining 70 is ideal 30 70 30 70 like that if it is 90 90 percent is uh, transmitted 10 percent uh, off 90 percent time is on 10 10 percent is off like that on off state so when it is on the data is transmitted when it is off the data is not transmitted pulse interval modulation in general this is uh, used to generate the sampling points for a threshold detector and count number of slots between adjacent pulses in the demodulator circuit the two main advantages of uh, pulse interval modulation over pulse position modulation is making it an attractive modulation technique for optical communications or the increase in the capacity and the fact that the symbol synchronization is not required resulting in simplified uh, uh, we can call that as simplified the structure of the receiver so an increased capacity can be uh, use it to improve either the bandwidth efficiency or the average power efficiency of the system so the problems which may arise when you are using pulse interval modulation in network environments due to its non-uniform symbol structure so here some uh, uh, one example we can show two symbols per protection intensity modulation when you are using LEDs, depending on the intensity, the data is modulated. So, this is a new modulation technique which is exclusively for uh, visible light communication, which is worked under optical wireless communication. So, the information is varied depending on the intensity of light. So, as a result, the signal that modulates the LED is strictly positive and real valued as we uh, said now the major challenge in optical wireless communication is how to convert these complex values and bipolar values into unipolar and real valued signals without offsetting the bit error performance so this can be achieved by orthogonal frequency division multiplexing that is OFDM which we discussed uh, just now so these are the various modulation schemes in this we discussed only the modulation schemes which are used in uh, visible light communication other than uh, visible light communication some modulations are used in uh, radio frequencies also like uh, bfsk fsk bask bpsk dpsk 16 quam 32 quam 64 quam 256 quam quadrature phase shift key and uh, msk gmsk at these we discussed BPM, PWM, PIM, IM and Harmod are accorded modulation, single carrier modulation techniques. So these two 
HCM and uh, SCM will be discussed in the next lecture of this. So these are the uh, signal represented by the modulation techniques, various modulation techniques we have, how the symbol was generated.